You might have seen it in the last video of my YouTube channel, but there were some video glitches in the video and this was because uh, Murphy hit me quite uh, in the weakest point of my backup strategy. However, because of a nicely set up strategy and IT setup, I still could save my video. The reason why I'm making this video is I want to explain how I'm dealing with big files and YouTube files and media files here in this YouTube studio and in my music studio. So I want to show you how I'm dealing with my media files that I'm creating uh, when creating this YouTube channel as well as my music of course there are not many solutions out there that you just can buy and work out of the box um, because I'm dealing with big files and on the other side if you're using the simplest solutions that um, are available out there uh, sometimes they just don't work for this and they don't really scale so this might be a very dry video and maybe it doesn't get many uh, clicks but I don't care because it's my YouTube channel and I want to talk about my IT and backup strategy. Let us start with my workstation which is a Mac Pro trash can Mac Pro from 2013. I got this uh, cheap, very cheap on eBay and so it's used but what I have on here is the following. I am using my main internal SSD basically for my music production uh, so that it's really straight on the point and very fast and so on. I am having some external hard disks uh, where I store files, downloads, my photo libraries and so on. How the backup of those external hard drives and my Mac Pros working I'm talking in a second. The next thing is I'm having here this SSD and I'm using this SSD for my as a scratch disk for my video production. So whenever I record my video and I'm going to produce it and cut it, I'm doing this on this external SSD. And after that is finished, I'm moving it to another RAID system. I have over there a RAID 1 system uh, that I also use to store my raw photo libraries because I believe the raw images, of course, are very nice to keep. And so therefore I'm having it on a RAID 1 system. Just again, RAID 1 reminder is it everything has been copied on a second disk. And so therefore, the redundancy is there at least one time. The developed pictures uh, go into my Apple photo library and as well there on this RAID system I have my YouTube source material. So like this camera when I record it I by process I should copy it on the RAID system and from there I'm copying it to my scratch disk and edit everything there. But all the source material is basically on the RAID system and also the exported video that then I'm going to upload to YouTube. Just because of the huge amount of data that has been produced by the system, by the camera. I just cannot run it through my backup system that I will explain in a second, but at least I have a RAID 1 system. And once this RAID system is out of storage, I, I am removing the hard disk and putting them to the cupboard and at least have them for archiving purposes or reasons. But I also don't need this data in the future to be online and available. And if so, I can always put it back into my RAID system. Then the next thing I want to show you is the following. Look at this. Here I have my rsync scripts, I just fire them up and then it's backing up here my one external hard drive, then here another external hard drive. This is my internal stuff from, you see it's already backing up now my recording, I'm recording right now. So these rsync scripts you have to, I have to confess I'm quite a Linux nerd and IT guy, that's why I have these kinds of things. But once set up, it's pretty easy. You see it's just a double click and then it's syncing everything um, to a NAS system that is over there. You will see in a second. This is basically the way how I'm backing up my data, like the external hard drives and things I'm working on. I have to execute manually. I could execute it in an interval, but to have really real-time data available or real-time backup available, I'm using Nextcloud. Nextcloud is basically syncing everything. I call this producing cloud. Everything I'm doing is being synced to another computer. You will also see in a second. And I'm doing this is because I want to copy all my data and have real time life available on my laptop because my laptop is really my primary source of information there. I'm logged in everywhere and everything here like the workstation my music computer is just an extension basically of my laptop so long story short I could do everything with my laptop and have all the data on there but Nextcloud makes it sure that I'm syncing it here locally on these two machines as well here are some documents with my wife so that we always can exchange our data without using any cloud provider which is cool so as a Mac guy you might ask yourself why am I not using time machine and the reason is pretty simple once you deal with time machine or not the other way around time machine is very easy to set up if you have just a normal amount of data and uh, you can just plug in an external hard drive and then it makes sure that your Mac is being backed up on this one but uh, 
problem of that system is, first of all, it has to be connected to a disk, right? You could buy the expensive time capsule, but I'm not sure if they still sell that. And then the third solution I was using for years, which was backing up time machine backups to an external NAS storage. But this works for months, but then after a few months, it always breaks down. So long story short, you need some maintenance to keep this up and running. And I just find these rsync scripts way more versatile and you can also configure your ignore scripts and maybe some exceptions and extra stuff you want to make sure that this is happening so i think it's more flexible and this is the reason why i'm not using time machine so that's it for my workstation and so just for this video i created the uh, this kind of uh, backup architecture that i anyhow wanted to create once upon a time and what is here is basically my i call it sources of productivity so basically stuff that i want to be backed up and storages that i have yeah so i told you already on my laptop i'm having some tracks and documents I want to back up and this is being connected to my next cloud. The Mac Pro is created for making beats and tracks and my wife's laptop's workstation and on the Mac Pro I'm also having miscellaneous files and maybe old projects as well as my YouTube raw video footage and raw camera photos. And for several of a different sources of productivity I'm having different backup strategies. I very shortly talked already about my next cloud but here you see as well uh, like the external hard drives go to a NAS system and my raw footage, uh, video footage is not going to this NAS because it's just a too huge, uh, huge amount of data. This goes to this rate one I was describing. This is happening here in Germany and at my parents location in Austria I also set up a NAS and this has been synced um, via VPN, via an open VPN tunnel. So I can make sure that even if here everything breaks down and maybe a fire breaks out or so, my data has been stored in a second location, which is called offshore backup, right? And the other way around as well. So for my um, parents, computers and data, basically they are syncing the same way to uh, this NAS and this NAS is syncing here to my system. So if their house breaks down or whatever is happening, uh, at least their data has been stored here in my location as well. So I'm using both locations as an offshore backup. And just because I can, I have this crazy NAS here as well, which is a Synology. So I having another system which is backing up this NAS to that NAS. But again, this I just got for free from a company that was vanishing it. And so I just picked this up. So let me show you my, I call it power PC. Uh, this power PC is basically a G3 tower that I replaced its hardware with some um, more common components uh, some years back and I'm running Ubuntu on that one and this is my main Nextcloud machine. It has some terabytes of storage and uh, it's really just used for syncing data between back and forth as well as doing some other stuff uh, beside and I'm like syncing my mails. But again this Nextcloud thing is not really backed up because I'm backing up my data already to my NAS, right? Here my company's MacBook Pro I can use for Lightroom and After Effects um, if I want to do that. And here you see my, I call it Suyo's NAS. It is running on Ubuntu, having a ZFF5 system. It, this tells you something. So it allows me to put in there a bunch of disks and really spread the data across these, uh, as well as doing iterative backups. So I have uh, some kind of versioning of my files as well, uh, unless the storage is available for this. And in there, I'm having around 12 terabytes of storage right now. Another DIY NAS I have at my parents' place, they call it Columbia NAS, which has around six terabytes of storage. And then last but not least, the Proton NAS, which has like 20 terabytes of storage. So now you as a YouTube guy or maybe musician guy might think, hey, this is crazy. Why do I not just buy any solution right from your, from your electronic store around the corner? But I promise you, I promise you, I'm doing this already for years and there's no easy solution out there that you can just buy and that scales and that is easy to set up and maintain and that works for years. And um, if there are, then of course you have to insert a lot of coins. And I mean, I was setting up this because I'm an IT guy, but I'm really happy having this. And I wanted to give you some kind of perspective what you're able to do. You might think, okay, why don't I just sync everything to the cloud? Yes, I could do, but on the other side, also there, you have to pay a lot and because they are running their cloud storages, right, and you have regular costs. On the other hand, I have to argue, I have here and there have to replace some hardware, like especially hard disks, um, because sometimes they break um, and uh, I also have to see that. But I think the biggest point I see is I'm still the owner of my data. I have all my data here. I can do with the data whatever I want. I have it literally in my hand and I have these two locations available so I have all the 
features of a cloud storage anyhow and beside the maintenance I have to do as an IT guy which by the way I'm doing because it's fun for me uh, I just see no reason why I should uh, give this up and use any external or other provider so I hope I could give you some ideas about how I'm handling with the different ideas of files and uh, maybe you can take over some ideas or maybe even let me know if I may think too complicated and you would set up it in a different manner let me know that and uh, would love to talk about backup strategies and IT setups for YouTube guys and studio guys so talk to you soon